And they're all cheering for him in his first World Cup game here at Brighton Community Stadium. He's there's a big no nonsense from Scott Berger. Boromaru. Here he is now, Martin. Straight back to Yanni Duplessis. But the, now Japan's defense to be tested. Diaga. Hori goes in. And they're up quickly. Strauss! Straight through! You can't stop him! Well, we had the giraffe, now we have the rhinoceros. Oh, he scored for South Africa. Well, it was the angle he ran, and again a little Eight missed points. tackle from Japan. I've not missed too many, but two vital ones. This the second, the first the Yaki Yogare. And the bullocking run of Adrian Strauss. Not quite a gazelle on the move. I'm not sure he'd love to be called a rhinoceros. But certainly, good little step and go. Good finish. And maybe, just maybe, finally the game's starting to settle here in the South African fa favour. And with a bit of luck for South African fans that thought of a major World Cup upset dissipating somewhat. The other interesting thing, as Andre Pollard adds the two, was the immediate link between Pollard and Jesse Creel on the outside. A little knowledge that they played together at the Bulls. That arc he ran, the pass, the drift pass he played, got South Africa on the front foot. And on the front foot, this man, the, the semi rhinoceros, had a good charge to the line and it put South Africa out in front again.